Tutankhamun, if I say this name, I am sure that you will know who I speak about. I guess everyone really know him and his life even it was so short it's so famous but I don't want to speak about this today but today I want to share with you my biggest experience in my life actually about Egyptian history I told you many times when I was a little girl I had such a dream that I will be the Egyptologist in Egypt I will live there and it will be my work and I will be famous I wanted to be the same exactly as Howard Carter who found the stump of Tutankhamun when I was reading his life and how he found Tutankhamun actually so his thoughts were similar to mine when I was reading about him how he actually fell in love to Egypt or this work I really found myself in and I thought I'm the same as him so one day I will be the same good so I started to buy a books about Egypt and spending my time in the library studying the Egypt history the kings queens everything in the complex however I didn't have so much opportunity because I was coming from a very small town and I didn't have the support from my parents, let's say even yeah, the friends don't understand me in this. Whatever, when I grow up, I try to contact some Egyptologists and I was like kind of very naive in this. I just thought I'll write them and they will say, okay, so let's work with us. We will tell you everything, but it doesn't work like this. I wrote in this time, they wasn't famous and I will not say the name. Uh, but they refused me, really, very badly refused me. And it actually broke me. I thought I was just asking them for a help why they responded to me like very badly. However, these uh, two persons which I wrote and both of them was men. In nowadays, they are so famous people. They really prove what they wanted. Okay, when I look at it back, I understand them now. Because, okay, even if I was... In this field really working I would be the same as them I will for sure not have a time on some small girl who is interested about Egypt fine but she didn't prove anything right but to be honest in the time it little bit broke me but I didn't give up on my dream I was sure one day I will be in Egypt and I will prove it so then I just heard about exhibition suddenly when I was around 16 that there is a very extremely big exhibition about Tutankhamun I'm sure all of you had to notice it or hear about it a little bit because it was around all the world they was going with this exhibition about Tutankhamun so this is this was only the first thing and only thing actually which I told my parents I will go there simply I have to see it no matter what and this was the first thing when my parents agreed and it was even more complicated because in the time I actually was on a school trip and I had to leave sooner and it was in the mountains in the winter when it was really big snow everywhere and I remember that my dad was going for me especially and deliver me to the exhibition which was actually on the second side of the Republic. So I was like, you know, one day traveling like five hours to this exhibition just to see it. And I remember we couldn't postpone it. I don't know why exactly, but it was this day or nothing. But come on, we did it. I entered the exhibition and it was the most beautiful <laughs> what I could ever see. When I entered inside, it was like, my breeze really stopped from the beautiness. Of course, I was always reading about the tombs and how it looked like when Howard found this, but I never could imagine. But when after you go to exhibition and you see it real, it's something little different. What was the best about this exhibition was that they really make it real. They make all the stuff which you see now on the picture as they found it. The same big like 
early you found it and then make you the environment that you feel it that you are the one who found it but as i told you many times i was reading about pharaohs how they make the burial ceremony but when i just saw it every single tomb from the Tutankhamun because he had a lot of was covered by gold and the hieroglyphs and how it was beautiful it just really took my breath and it was actually the most beautiful thing which I have ever seen so I was really so amazed but when we cross all the tombs uh, and the sarcophag Suddenly, the way of the exhibition went out and I was thinking to myself, oh my god, this is only this? It wasn't that much, even it was so beautiful, but it's too little. I was like surprised and I wanted to cry really from it. But then suddenly we go take like another turn and it opened a big space in front of us and there was a million things of Tutankhamun, his personal stuff, his statues, his shoes, his throne, even Tutankhamun himself, he was there, it wasn't him, it was a copy actually, but it looked like him. And they was playing the movie from his life and how they found it, the real picture of Howard. But what I was at before, that they put even a Tutankhamun special necklace, which has like a shape of scarabs and inside is actually a green something like diamond like green stone which is more expensive than the diamond when they found it they told that this is the most valuable stone in the world and it doesn't have actually a price which is really something wow which stone doesn't have a price right so if you want to buy it it's impossible and it's only one stone and this story of this stone really amazed me always since i was a kid because i was reading about it that this stone is especially only in the desert in the sahara in the middle somewhere in the middle no one knows special place but they say when you go there it's impossible to come back simply you will die there but it's too dangerous but what I remember that the one of the Tenkhamun slave actually brought it to him as a gift to his birthday, so he made the stone to his necklace to keep it with him forever. But fortunately, this stone you will not see in this video because I had a photo, but it was too bad, unfortunately. But I put it in the necklace just to see the beauty. And as last, I will mention that they put the Tenkhamun special game, which is called a Senate. It wasn't for sure only his game, but he loved it the most as the king because he was a young king, like let's say even a child, child, right? So he loved to play it a lot. So even this made me so happy to finally see it. Really, this was the most happiest day of my life. And even I know that I didn't prove anything in it, but I wanted to show you how beautiful it was because I want to also say that this is my personal photo which I took by myself so I have the copyright to share it with you and please forgive the quality of the photo because it was made like 10 years ago maybe a little bit more and in this time we took the photo by a camera it's really like kind of a bad camera this is like shaking and you can see the photo really in bad quality however I hope you enjoy and it's something interesting, something a little bit different than we do all the time. So thank you for watching, thank you for listening to my small story and look forward to on the next video. Bye!